Thanks for joining me for a video of the creation of the Dale Hollow Lake fabric landscape. These are the reference photos that I got from my brother and I was looking at the type of background I wanted to use. You can see here I've just started to lay some of the fabric and I started specifically with the sun and the sunset and I'm using lots of pins. This is where I started to add for the clouds above the horizon line. And you can see I'm using lavender and some gray. Lots of pins because I am absolutely layering and layering and layering strips of fabric. I tried to keep the strips the same size and I'm showing here a different angle of it as I was getting ready to sew it. I have to say I really enjoy looking at the different colors of fabrics at a different angle. This is the clouds above the horizon line after they have been sewn down. And here's where I put the dark line, the dark horizon line, the trees as well as the water and the reflection. I'm using smaller strips, smaller width strips of fabric to help create the shimmer of the water. I'm really enjoying the coloring and the play with the different fabrics. Here you can see all of those pieces that have been sewn down at this point, I had kept the sides rough with a lot of thread. My intention was to keep those if it was working. It wasn't necessarily working as well as I wanted, so you'll see it trimmed here in a minute. There's it trimmed, and it's a long and narrow piece, so you can definitely tell um, that that actually helped to sure it up. This is where I needed to add some more gray to the top. And I really do like how it has turned out. Again, as you look at the, the dark at the center, I was also layering some more grays to try to tone that down. The reference photo print was to uh, lavender. There wasn't that much lavender in the digital photo, so I was using the digital photo mostly. You can see as you look at this that I did sew pretty horizontally this whole time with the, uh, my seam lines. And I did press this so the pieces weren't quite as ruffled or bubbly. I still don't, didn't think that I got the sun actually correct, so I needed to work on that a bit more. This is where I, I added some more gray and some different uh, oranges around the sun, and that really helped quite a bit. This is the piece as it's finished. You can see the stitch lines on the dark spot and above. I did switch my thread colors a bit. Here it is on a red background and you can tell um, the colors play a little differently. And I'm, I'm really pleased with it. I hope my sister-in-law will enjoy it. I have left the gray flannel showing at the top and the bottom of the piece. Here we go down so you can see all of that. I'm much, much happier with the, the sunset. The finished piece is approximately seven and a quarter inches by 18 inches.
Sometimes I like to share the back of a finished piece so that you can see the stitching lines. For the most part, this was stitched horizontal line using horizontal lines. And I did use some dark blues, variegated blue, and some gray, but most of it is done in a yellow thread. I thought it was kind of interesting. You can also tell as you look at this that I did go along the outside of the piece multiple times to keep everything secure. Thanks for watching this video of the making of the Dale Hollow Lake fabric landscape for my sister-in-law. If you've enjoyed this, please share the video, like, subscribe. I will also be sharing uh, some more uh, fabric landscapes as I create them.